we're here in Hidalgo at the State Farm Arena. Right now I got the former two-time world champion, Jesse James Leha, and his business partner, Savvy, Savvy Marketer, Mike Batal. Welcome down here to South Texas. Question for you, Mike. Why come back here to the Valley? It's been dead here for like the last two years. Why come back to one Oh uh, Well, it's not dead, but you know, we want to come down here. And we know there's a great opportunity to fight down here. And, uh, you know, again, we have our people here in the arena the State Farm helping us out, and uh, we think it's a great opportunity to come out here and see what's going on with the fight fans out here. Now, James, you know, you're one of the, you know, what do you call it, the ambassadors of boxing, especially in San Antonio area, you're the man. What made you want to, you know, get heavily involved in boxing, like, you know, well, and at first I was just doing my, my gym stuff, I was gym in San Antonio, I met Mike Batal, and Mike wanted to do a promotion company, I was against it at first, but I decided to try it out because I knew Mike's a very, uh, great businessman, and so it's been working great for Mike and I. Um, but you know, boxing's always been my passion. Uh, I love it. I, I love to see guys get opportunities to fight for world titles or to progress in their career. And Mike and I are giving those fighters opportunities. We get some fighters opportunities that turn and we'll come down to the back and uh, get some guys opportunities to fight on big time TV, some big time promotions. And uh, okay. maybe, you know, we're going to have the next Omar Field Road to the Valley again. And that's what every boxer wants to do. Every boxer wants to become world champion. Not everyone can, yep. but if we give our mom a Tuesday, they get a better chance at it. Now, we have two local kids on the show that are doing extremely well in marketing themselves and selling tickets. Mm -hmm. One, they're both from Brownsville, mm -hmm. Juan Tapia and Ricardo Lamas. Mm -hmm. They're going to be hitting that $13,000 mark and $10,000 market tickets. Wow. How great is that? That's, that's great. That's incredible. <laughs> and that's what, and in reality, that's what uh, Golden Boy wants, and that's what Leia Batal, we want guys that not only can fight, but have a great market, have mm -hmm. a great following, and and that's what sells tickets. I mean, I mean, I saw when I was a fighter, I had great mm -hmm. ticket sales. Yes, you were. People coming to, to watch me fight, but that's what it takes. Because uh, you can be the best fighter in the world, but no one cares. <laughs> yeah. No one's gonna want to watch you, and no, no one really cares. But uh, with these guys, and, and not just these guys, but other fighters, that you have to be able to fight first. You can, yes. see, you can sell all the tickets in the mm -hmm. world, but if you can't fight, you're not gonna get much. You're not get you know anywhere. Um, so it, it takes both. You got to be able to sell tickets mm -hmm. and you got to be able to fight. Now in the San Antonio area, you guys are really, you know, hot. Everybody's wondering. Kind of low. Yeah, we're working. <laughs> trying well, to get it done. We're, we're, we're hoping that can happen again someday. You know, so things are, um, you know, we're, we're still working at it. From Golden Boy, I think they want to do it too, but there's got to be time and place and the right opportunity for that for them as well. So right now, we just, things are still up in the air, and hopefully something will happen someday. Within a couple, couple, within a couple weeks, you should know. I hope so. Okay. Well, you know, these guys right here, you know, Mike and James, they formed a great promotional outfit. Uh, they're booming right now. They're, you know, big shows all the time, big events. Uh, you know, it's guys like these, you know, and well, a guy with a great image like this. Yeah, but you know, it, it takes everyone. It, it, yeah. Mike and I are leading the, the charge in San Antonio, but it takes everyone, you know, from the, from the fighters themselves to trainers, to uh, mom and dad selling tickets for their, yeah. their fight. Yeah. It takes everyone. We, Mike and I can't do this alone. We yeah. can't do this if we don't have the boxing fans out yeah, there exactly. supporting us. So, uh, you know, we bring, them, we bring them the opportunities to buy tickets, and sure enough, San Antonio has been doing that as well. We want to do the same thing for the bash. We bring fights. Let's hope that they come out and support it so we can do another one. Then basically what you're going to do is explore other markets in San Antonio, like Laredo, uh, Corpus. We're, we're gonna, we got to go hit San Antonio yeah. for a little bit. We're going to wait for a little bit. We're at Corpus, okay. yeah. now the Valley, then we're going to get back to our... Yeah, we'll go back to San Antonio and spread them out again. Come back. We would love to come back here. I love it down here. Yes. Uh, so, you know, and there's a lot of good fighters down here too. Yeah. So we just got to make sure that uh, these fighters keep winning and we keep giving them shows. Well, then you heard it. Thank you for coming out, guys. And, uh, you know... Everybody down here, you know, the fighters, especially, you know, Ricardo Lamas and Juan Tapia, they're doing their part in pushing tickets because oh, yeah. you got to have guys like that. Exactly. <laughs> we need those guys. Exactly. Ten more guys like that and you guys will be set. You know, one of the things I've always said, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. <laughs> Thank you for coming Thank out, guys. guys.